Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at how to use the for each loop in JavaScript. The for each loop can be used to easily call a function once for each element in an array. So as the loop works through each element in the, the array, in each iteration of the loop the function is called for uh, each element. Alright, so let's have a look at an example. We'll create an array. I'm going to create an array called users and we'll just store bunch of string values in this array and I'm going to use a for each loop to go through every element in this array and display it in the console. Now we could do this with a regular for loop if we wanted to uh, but with a for each loop we can actually create a function that's called uh, when the loop runs and that function is called for each iteration of the loop uh, and in each iteration it's going to be processing a different element in the array. Okay, so the way that we'd write this is we would reference the array that we've created. So we would say users dot for each and then in brackets we can uh, put in the name of a function that we're going to create and that function will be called in each iteration of this loop. So I'm going to create a function that's going to display um, these usernames in the console one by one, each on a new line. So I'll call the function display user, just like that. And now I'm going to create that function. So I'll say function oops, display user. And then in the parentheses here, I'm going to um, specify a parameter here which is just going to be called user and that's going to represent each element in this users array. Alright, so this for each loop here, it's going to go through the users array and in each iteration of the loop, it's going to call the display user function which I'm defining down here. And this display user function has a parameter called user. User is going to represent each element uh, in this array. So as it um, as a loop works through the array, it's going to be processing each element one by one, and for each of those elements, uh, it's going to be used in this function. So to test that out, we can just have a little console log message here that just logs that user to the console. And if we go and uh, refresh the page, we can see in the console, we've got all of those users there listed one by one in the console. Okay, so that's a for each loop. It's uh, accessing this array that we've created and uh, for each uh, iteration of the loop uh, and for each element in the array, it's going to call this function, which we've defined or created down here. We can actually have a second parameter here as well, which can be used for the index. So if you have two parameters, the first parameter is the actual element in the array that's being accessed in each iteration of the loop. The second parameter is going to be the index of that element. So home will be zero, marge will be one, bar will be two, and so on. Okay, so I could say something like this, user, is in index and then the name of that index parameter. Okay, so if I go and refresh the page, we could say user homer is index zero, user marge is in index one, and so on. So that second parameter there is going to be used to get the index of the uh, user element for each iteration of this loop. So for each loops are really useful for when you have an array and you want to um, go through each element in that array and process those elements uh, and you might need to write a bunch of lines of code. So that code could be put into a function um, that's given a name and then that function is just called for each of the elements in that array. It's quite useful. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.